One of the highest paid freelancers are developers, people building websites for companies, for startups, for individual influencers and brands as well. And today I want to share with you a great way to do exactly that. But here's the catch. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to know how to start from scratch and build a website from the ground up. If you are good enough with design and you know how to build great layouts, then you can do this and you can make a ton of money doing this. Make sure that you watch till the end to know exactly how to make this happen. Hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Ishan Sharma and let's get started with this video. So you know, a couple years back, I used to code and build websites myself from scratch, but with the new age automation and low code tools, anyone can come up with a great idea for a product and can actually execute and build it from scratch without them knowing the nitty gritty details of programming. These days I visit websites and it's really hard for me to tell if the site has been built custom by a developer or it has been designed using low code to no code tools. You don't need to know how to code. You can work as a freelancer and make lakhs of money just if you have a bit of designing skills and know a bit about programming. Now let me show you exactly how to do this step by step. If you have been designing for a while now, you might have used this tool called as Figma. It's a great collaborative tool that you can use to build designs for websites, for posters, thumbnails, social media posts and what not. Also, if you have designed apps and websites, you know that taking it from a simple Figma design to a full built website can take weeks and even months by the developers. But with the help of this Figma plugin that I will be talking about in this video, you can essentially convert your Figma design file to a full-fledged website and save 80% of the development time. This plugin is called Locofy and it can turn your designs to production ready front end code for both websites as well as mobile apps. Locofy helps you build websites and apps for your clients and even portfolio websites in just a few clicks without much technical knowledge. At the end, you can deploy your app on Netlify or Vercel or you can directly export the code and use it wherever you want to. It offers easy prototyping wherein you don't need to create multiple designs for each device type or recreate user flows to link up the prototype in different screen sizes. It's a free plugin that you can start using. Enough of me talking, let me actually show you how to start using it and build websites with the help of Locofy. All right, so this is the Locofy plugin, a great way for you to convert your Figma designs into production ready front end code. I'll show you exactly how to convert your Figma file into to a full-fledged website. So essentially with the help of Locofy, you can convert your Figma design file into either React, HTML, CSS or React native code base. And there will also be support coming up for Sketch as well as Adobe XD in the future. And talking about Figma, it's a wonderful design tool that you can use to create mockups for websites, for brand packages, for social media posts, for a variety of different things. It is quite popular because of the ease of use as well as the variety of things that you can do with the help of this design tool. As you can see, this is a simple design of a website that you can see. So you first of all have this logo, you have this main text, then you have some accompanying text along with it. You also have a couple of buttons. You have this illustration along with it as well. You can add some colors, you can add nav bars, you can add jumbotrons, you can add cards. Sky is the limit, whatever you think that you want to create, you can build it with the help of Figma. Here is a website that is built from scratch with the help of Figma. As you can see, it has multiple pages. First of all, you have the home page, you have the results page, then you have the hotels page. So essentially, the way this works is that normally you would have this design file, a designer would make it, then you would pass this on to a developer and the developer would actually be converting this design file into an actual working website. So this is the plugin. You can install it very easily by just going over here, go to plugins and just click on find more plugins and just search over here, Locofy. I have it right here, but you can also just go down and you can find it and you can click on run. Once you click on Locofy, this is what you would actually see. It's a completely free tool that you can use. You just click on connect account. You just need to sign up. And after that, this is what you would see. You just need to click on create a new project. Just type over here, fickle website. And we will choose a framework. So essentially you can either choose React, HTML, CSS, Next.js or Gatsby. Or if you want to make a mobile app, then you can go with React Native. I'll just go with React for this project. 
we will choose the setting to be TypeScript itself and the styling would be set to be CSS modules. You can also keep it Tailwind, you can keep it regular CSS or you can also make it styled components in React which is coming soon. So I just keep it CSS modules for now and we will just click on create. So now we are in this project in Locofy plugin. First of all, what we need to do is to learn about tagging. So essentially, if you just have a look at this website right now, for us, it's very easy to tell that this button right here, as you can see, it looks like a button, but to this computer, it just looks like a rectangle. So we need to tag certain elements of this design and tell the computer that this part of the website is actually a button and we need to give its characteristics. So I just click on this button right here and as you can see, we can tag what it actually is. So in this case, it is a simple button. So I can just click on button over here. The next step is to choose the UI library. So you can either go with material UI and design bootstrap or chakra, or you can also go with none in which case you will have to define its styling and layout as well. I will for now just go for none. And when I do that, I need to define its characteristics myself. So we have some basic attributes. We also have advanced attributes. If you are a developer and you know how this works, you can add some customization over here as well. But we will just go to styling and layout. So over here, what we can do is we can tell how this would behave in certain situations. So for example, in a default screen size, this is how it would look like. When we go to 1200, screen size, this is how it would look. So what we can basically do is, let's just say I go to 650, which is the width of a normal screen size of a phone. I can go here and I can have a look at this display size and position. So what I'm basically saying is that in this laptop position, this is how the button will look. But if I take it to a phone, how would it then look like? So essentially, if you've ever seen a website, the button takes the complete width of the screen. So what we would basically do here is we would just go in for this width and we will just say 100 and we can have the option of choosing between pixels or percentage or REM, right? I'll just go with percentage for now. What that basically means is that when the width of this screen is less than 650 or equal to 650, then in that case, the width of this button would be 100% of the screen size. So that's what we are doing over here. And we can also go for default and we can click on hover. So if I hover my cursor onto this button, how would the button change? So I'll just change the color of it. You can also change the way the cursor will look with multiple options over here, as you can see. So this is what you can do with it. Now the next step would be the action. If I press this button, what happens next? That is what you can define over here. So I can just click on change page. So I need to then pick a page that I want this button to go to. So I'll just click on the results page right here. And that is all that we need to do now. I can also click on preview. This is how it would look. It is taking 100% of the screen width and it is also having that hover effect over here. Click on this. I go to this next page, the results page. All right, one more thing that we can do is to tag this field, right? So I'll just pick this. I will go into Locofy. I launch my plugin and I would tag it over here. I can click on auto complete and now I can pick a library. So I'll just go with material UI. And when I do that, I can choose what is a variation for this auto complete uh, element. So I would just go with this one. I can choose the palette, the coloring for this. So let's just say I want to make it success. I can also add the option. So I, maybe I can make it Bengaluru. That would be BLR. I can separate it with a comma and I can add others as well like Delhi. This will become DEL. I can make it Mumbai. That would be BOM. And just like that, I now have three different options with me over here. As you can see, we have other options available to us as well now. So that's basically how this works. You can also add some placeholder text if you want. And now we can click on preview. Now when we preview, you can see this is how the site looks like. I can drop down and I can pick other options over here as well. Now I can also reduce this in size and I can still pick the option. I can click on Delhi. I can pick the date over here as well. And I can then click on search flights. Next, I, I can also drag and drop components over here. So essentially what this means is that I can 
take this particular button and I can put this at wherever place I want to. So I can place it at this point, for example. Now, since this is material UI, I don't need to change the styling and layout. I can directly go to the actions. I can change this particular page and I want it to maybe go to hotels, right? To the hotels page. So that's how easy it is for you to build a website. You can literally use this drag and drop functionality over here. This is for buttons. We also have a text area, as you can see, input, checkboxes, radios, and other things over here, right? So that's about drag and drop pre-built components. Uh, this is working with us because we are using React at this point. Another great thing that you can do with the help of Locofy is Locofy AI. So I can pick this particular segment of my design and I can click on Enable Loco AI. This will basically suggest me all the elements available in my design and what it actually is. So for example, this email address is actually an input, which is right. So I can do that and I can choose a library for it and I can pick which one is this actually looking like. So I'll just pick this and I will click on OK. I can pick a palette as well and I can click on Done. So Loco AI automatically looked at my design and suggested me the tagging options available with me and I can pick the ones that I think are relevant. This is not 100% correct, but it works for the majority of the cases. Once you are done with tagging all the elements with the help of uh, tagging layers and the Loco AI, next step is to actually view the code. Right, so you can take all the frames and we can click on view in code builder. Now we can just click on view code in builder. So then we have the Locofy builder as you can see in front of you. This is the site that we can see. We can go to the home page, and this is what we have with us. On the left, you can see the React code with TypeScript. On the right, you can see the styling done for each of these. Now we can also assign certain components, right? So if you go to results page, we can see that we have reusable components over here. Like this rectangle is used multiple times. The details are changed like the logo of the airline, the name of the airline, the timing details and the price as well. So we can pick this and we can make a component out of it. So we can call this a flight card and we can click on create. And when I did that, you can see that we now have a flight card.tsx, a TypeScript file. And we also have a flight card.module.css file with me. You can also add props. So for example, in this case, the pricing could be a prop, the name of the flight could be a prop. So you can add all of these over here. So that's basically how easy it is for you to convert a design file in Figma to a production ready code. You can also click on export, which will then download a file for the whole code base and you can run it in your own VS code or in your own system. I have selected all of the pages and I just click on confirm export. This will get me a .zip file. I can also turn it into a GitHub repository. So this is the downloaded folder I have. I have unzipped it and this is what it looks like. I can go into SRC and I can view all the components that I have, all the pages that I have. So we just made a three page website with 6,000 lines of code, 74 assets and it was done all in front of you with just a few clicks. We can also deploy this, right? So we can use either Netlify or Vercel to deploy this file directly through Locofy itself. Not only websites, you can also use Locofy for building mobile apps. You can convert the Figma design file into React Native applications. That was Locofy, a Figma plugin that you can use to create production-ready front-end code that is both for websites as well as mobile apps. Check out the link in the description to get access to Locofy. It's completely free for you to get started and I hope that this will help you build websites, work with clients and make tons of money. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know in the comment section about that as well. Share this video with your friends, tag me on social at Ishan Sharma 7390. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.